Barbaric Drawer Pulls. Hi there, I am Thak and welcome to the video. So today I am going to be building some um, hardware for a piece of furniture that I'm building, namely, it goes right here. This is the front of a drawer which is supposed to look like a chest. Um, and this is, if you've been watching, my, if you're a fan of my videos and you're watching the Hobbit Hole series, um, which is my new bedroom. I've been sleeping there for six months. Love it. We're in the cold months now. It's cozy. Anyway, so I'm, I'm furnishing this little bit by bit. So I have carved this piece of wood, which will be the front of my drawer, and I need to make some forged drawer poles, which are going to be a ring um, and a band of steel. And it's all going to be very barbaric and cool. And I know what you're thinking. Why didn't I make a video about carving this piece of wood here? Well, number one, I'm just an amateur carver. I don't think I really have that much to offer. And also, I just can't film every aspect of my life. I'm making stuff like basically every waking hour, so I can't always film that. But take heart, I am going to be doing the headboard for my Hobbit hole this winter, and there will be carved wooden posts, and we will incorporate some of the carving aspect in there so you'll get to see um, what that process is like. Anyway, I'm talking too much, let's move on. So I wanna do a ring pull, um, which is gonna fit on the front of my drawer. Um, and the ring is gonna have maybe like a three inch inside diameter. And I decided what I wanted to do was a rope twist, but then I thought I'll do something a little more funky. So what I'm gonna do is twisting um, a piece of half by quarter inch flat bar um, to get a really sharply pronounced type rope twist. Uh, usually with a rope twist, you take a round bar and you flatten it out slightly into an oval and then twist it and you get this nice um, round rope shape. This one's going to be a little bit more extreme, but this is a piece of cold rolled steel. Um, so it's got very sharp edges. So first thing, what I'd like to do is just bring them down. I want everything here to be textured. So let's texture this bar, then we will twist it and then we will turn it into rings. Let's go. All right, and there we have it. I had just enough material there. This was the one and only piece of this I have. I'm so glad I didn't burn it or mess it up in any way. So uh, what I've got now is two full revolutions here. I'll be able to cut that off and get my two rings. While that's cooling off, let's make the knuckles that are gonna grab that. And for that, I'm going to use a piece of three quarter inch round and a special die in my power hammer. So what I just used was my collaring die. Um, <clears throat> this is a die to make a decorative collar profile and you can see what the die looks like. Hopefully you're catching that. And then when I put in the round bar and smash it forth, I'm able to get this cool cross section. This I'm gonna now bring around to, to make the knuckle. Um, let me show you. All right, so for the banding on this, I'm using a quarter by two inch flat bar, and I wanna do some decorative elements, of course. So I think what I need to do is a little groove down the edge here. So I went over to my tool rack and um, picked up a tool that I didn't even recognize. I know I didn't make this one. I think I actually got it from my mentor when he retired and I purchased a bunch of his tools, and I don't think I've ever actually used it. It was just in a big pile uh, my tool rack tends to get a little bit uh, disorganized and I don't always find the stuff. So I pulled this out and I started playing with it a little bit and I think it's going to work quite well. Let me show you. All 
But once I've got the groove, I want to chamfer the outside edge and kind of get a nice uh, textured ridge there so it kind of matches the inside piece. I don't know if I'm articulating that clearly enough, but just so it doesn't have a factory finished edge on it, it's got a nice texture and a nice decorative aspect. Another 10 inches to go. All right, so we've got the components roughed out now. I've got my rings here, the knuckle, which is going to be holding them, which has got lots of slop in there, so these will hang freely. Um, these are gonna be positioned in the center of this square here, so I have to position that in an appropriate spot. This will be bent around, and then I'll we'll probably do some extra decoration on there, but I also have to think about bolts. I need to bolt this to the drawer, which will be a steel inner drawer here. Um, so I might have to do some decorative bolt heads. I think maybe I'll do that now while the rest of this stuff is still kind of cooling off and then we can get it chopped up. So let's do some decorative bolt heads. While we're in the mode of using tools from days gone by, I pulled out this uh, little bolt header that I created probably 20 years ago and I really haven't used it much in the last 15 years so it's all rusty let's uh, see how that works I've got some square head half inch bolts and I'm going to be putting them into um, my upsetting block there and let's see how this goes And there we go, cool little rosette. Let's do another five of those and I should have enough to bolt my drawer on. Okay, pieces are coming together here. I've got this dry fitted right now. This is gonna get welded in, but right now, I've just got it in place there so I know where my ring hangs because I want the ring to be in the center of this square. So I'm just kind of eyeballing all that malarkey. And then I am drawing a line where I need my bend. Pull that out. I'm just going to go to the vise cold and get this started. All right, so I have welded this in. There was a countersink on the back there. Welded that in and ground it flush. Then I also drilled some half inch holes here and I've already pre-fitted this piece here. So I should just tap on the back. Nice. Please, something like that. And now, quite simply, I need to Probably can't line that up very well. So I'm going to drill through here. Then I did it. Grab one of my bolts here. I might put these on the diamond just to match this over here, the center piece, just as an element. Let's 
something like that and then of course there will be the drawer on the other side that this all bolts through but you get the idea um, and now what I'm going to do is do some sort of finish to this but I think we will cut this video short now I think you get the idea of where I'm going with this and then we'll go uh, at the end of this video you'll see the beauty shots after I finish do all the final touches on this um, I'm still a little ways away from making this into an actual piece of furniture. Um, I've got to carve the other visible side. The rest of it is all going to be plywood because it's all being covered. So all I'm doing is the pretty stuff where it's going to be seen. This, the whole idea of this is supposed to look like um, a chest that is, say, like a munitions crate, I guess would be the best um, style, which is, you know, a long, narrow sort of crate where these would be the handles on the side anyway that's the effect that i'm trying to go for let's see what the finished product actually looks like but for now this was a fun little project i really enjoyed it and it's good to get back on the forge i've been doing a lot of sculpting lately it was nice to do some traditional forge work once again so that is it thanks for tuning in i would love to hear your comments on this whole thing um, of course, uh, do all the stuff I always tell you to do, Patreon and uh, likes and subscribe. You know what to do, people. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for coming. See ya.